Hey everyone, so this week we have a couple quick tips about getting people to your property. Have you ever had a vacant property where you have to fill it with tenants? Some of the things I think a lot of people don't seem to do because they think it's too much work can have the biggest effects. So when you're advertising for a property, and let's say you're advertising for a week and then you're going to go show your property and try to, to find a new tenant to, to find your property. If you speak to a couple people on the phone and you book that appointment to see them at the property more than one day away, so if you're talking to them on Wednesday and they're not coming on Thursday, we do reminder calls the day of or the morning of. So for example, if I'm talking to somebody on a Thursday trying to set an appointment for Saturday, I'm either calling them Friday night to remind them of our appointment or Saturday morning to remind them of our appointment. Reminder calls are mandatory in our opinion if you're booking out more than one day. It has a huge difference in the amount of people that actually show up to your appointment. So that's kind of step number one. And the next thing we do is if you're advertising for a week, you might have some leads, um, both phone leads, so you have phone numbers and email addresses, we'll call all those people the day before we're going out to the property and even if we're getting voicemail, we'll leave complete details of the address, where the house is located, how to get there, major intersections, what time we're going to be there, our cell phone numbers if they want to call us, and we'll do the same thing on email. And we'll do that to everybody even if we can't get a hold of them with hopes that a couple a couple extra people might show up when we're showing uh, showing the property. So that's how we kind of take care of the leads that we haven't been able to speak of. That's been of great success to us as well. And then there's one more thing. Let's say you're advertising a property for two or three weeks and you start building up a whole bunch of leads. What we've done to save some time in the past is we've emailed the ones that we have email addresses of the day before we go out saying, hey, we're going to be at the property tomorrow. Here's a map and give them all directions and phone numbers to contact us. But for the phone ones, if we end up collecting like 40, 50, 60 leads over a couple weeks, we'll do voice broadcasting. And I don't know if anyone's heard of this before, but if you just Google voice broadcasting, you can get these services where you record a message, maybe a 30-second message with complete details of where you're going to be, and you voice broadca broadcast it out to their voicemail boxes. So it won't go if they answer the phone, but if they don't answer the phone and the call goes to voicemail, it will dial all these 60 numbers for you and leave messages at all these people. And doing this... We've gone to properties where we've had no confirmed appointments, but just with these kind of calls and emails, we've had some people show up at the property that we've never spoken to before, and we've signed leases with them just by doing our reminder calls and some voice broadcasting stuff. So some things to think about. These small little details are the way that you can get people to your property and end up earning you as an investor a lot of money, and a lot of people overlook these things. So hopefully you find that useful. Until next time, your life, your terms.